Do you like dice? Do you like puppies? If you do, stick around, because tonight we're with the beer. We're reviewing spots. Spots is a push or luck dice rolling game for one to four dog lovers. The goal is quite simple. The goal is to be the first player to complete six of these dog cards. And players will be rolling dice and hopefully getting the matching spots on these dice to match the spots on each dog card. During their turn, the players won't just simply roll dice, they'll have to do one of these tricks. And depending on which trick they choose, there's certain limitations and a certain order and special way that they'll have to roll the dice. Now when you're choosing one of these tricks to perform, you flip it over and you leave it face down. Now no one else can choose that trick until eventually all the tricks get flipped over except for one and then that trick you add a treat to it making it a little more enticing for a player to choose later and then you reset all the tricks now you can choose from any of the tricks and this guy here will give you a bonus treat now when you roll something and you don't have a slot on one of your dog cards it actually goes into your buried section here on your player board now should you accumulate dice that exceed the sum of seven you actually bust and any incomplete cards that you have, even from previous turns, all the dice are removed and you gotta kinda start from scratch. So instead of rolling dice during your turn, let's say that you had a card completed like Goliath here, and I had the two, the one, and the five on there. Instead of doing a trick and rolling dice on my turn, I can score some of my dog cards. So any dog cards that are completed, I could just remove the dice and flip those cards over, showing that that dog card is now complete. And now I'm one step closer to completing the goal of six completed dog cards. Now the game comes with a whole bunch of these different tricks, so you can kind of mix them up to make the game a little different each time you play it. But these are the standard six that it suggests for your first couple games. We can go over those quickly. Pal, if you have fewer than six dog cards, draw the top card of the deck and add it to your pack. Then roll one die. All right, five. Walk. Roll two dice. Then you may roll one die. Two dice. I yeah, got a four and another four. And then I may roll one more. Let's see, let's push it. Push the luck. One. Hollow. Run. Roll three dice. Ooh. Two. Ooh, ooh got that. Those going in there. I'm at six. And then you may roll one die. You may repeat the second step as many times as you want. So you can just keep rolling one die as long as you have a place to place. Three. Uh-oh. So I would have bust. So all these would have came off. Roll over. Roll all your buried dice and then place them or rebury them. So you get to roll your dice that are in. Either you got buried. Let's see. I got a three and a four. Oh, looks like I'm burying that three again. And then you may roll one dice. Cool. Six. All right. Fetch. Roll eight dice. Choose the number you roll them. Place or bury all the number of that dice. Discard the rest. Let's see here. Well, that was a bad roll. I guess I'll take all the fours. So I only had two four. Oh, that was a four. So four will go there. And then I guess I have to bury the other four. But at least I didn't bust yet. Beg. Take one treat. Then take one more treat for each dog print on your dog cards. Look, oh, I got one, two, three more. That's awesome. So I can get three more rerolls. And totally could have used those earlier. And I failed to mention the treats. The treats allow you to reroll all the dice that you rolled for that trick. So it's kind of nice because it can keep you from busting and maybe get those certain dice that you use, but it's not quite as flexible as you would hope as in some other dice games to where you can just reroll the dice that you don't want. That's not the case in spots. You have to reroll all of them that you rolled for that trick. So sometimes if you're going to push your luck, it's kind of nice to have a handful of these tricks because usually one or two of them might not get you the results that you need. So in short, do a trick, roll dice, put them on your dog cards, complete your dog cards, be the first one to get six completed, and that is Spots in a Nutshell. I absolutely adore this game. Everything about it is amazing. The aesthetics on the game, the cards are just so cute, and each one of the dog cards is a different dog, um, and they all have, you know, fantastic art and cute names, and, you know, one of them isn't even a dog, I don't think. It's, it's certainly a cow. So uh, the humor in the cards, and even the dice, they look like normal D6s, but they're not. They even made the pips, like, imperfect to kind of match the spots on the dogs. It's really neat that they did that. Um, the wooden components, the, the little wooden bones, 
great pieces, nice chunky little wooden bones. Uh, the player boards, they're a nice thick cardboard. Actually, everything in it is a nice thick cardboard. Uh, the cards have a nice linen finish. They shuffle, excellent. Everything fits back in the box, very nice. The box has just enough room for everything to fit in there just right. The rule book is nice and clear, and it's a very easy to teach game. Uh, I wanna say it's just kinda maybe beyond a step of a gateway game. Or, no, I guess it's really a gateway game. But there's enough strategy to it, and there's a lot more strategy to it than you would think by looking at this game with puppies where you're rolling dice. A lot more strategy, and, and I would say there's enough strategy there to keep avid gamers uh, interested in the gameplay the whole time. But again, it is easy enough to teach, and it's a great gateway game. I feel like it perfectly toes that line between a gateway game and a game that actual gamers will want to play. I mean, you're not going to get together with your hardcore gamer friends though and play it all night Friday night, no. But it makes it will make it to the table, and you know there are some decisions to be made, and you know the the whole pushing your luck on that thing, and the pushing your luck on this game is absolutely brutal, because you know most of the time when you push your luck on one of these dice games, you know just lose what you gain that turn, but no, not this one, because you, you can either you know roll the dice or you can lock your points on your dogs, and if you have dogs with dice on them and they're not locked, and you roll and you bust or get you know above seven in your uh, buried pile. Man, you're screwed. You just lost who knows how many how many turns. Um, so you know you really got to be careful on what tricks you take. Uh, well, and and that's another thing too. You know, you're waiting for other people to take their turn, kind of anxiously waiting. You know, hoping that they don't take your trick. And I guarantee you, most of the time someone does take the trick that you wanted to perform. Um, but that's kind of really about the only player interaction, I guess, that you have. Uh, it is just enough player inter interaction for you to, to kind of care about other people's turns. And I see why they made it only play four players. It seems like they could have made this game like play five or six, but in my opinion, I think there would be too much downtime in a five or six player game. Because in a four player game, it's fine, but you can kind of feel that for this kind of a, a light, easy going, you know, dice checking game, that there could have been uh, too much downtime with five, six players. So, because four, is Okay, it's, it's fine. It's fine for, but I wouldn't want to play it with anymore, even if you could. Oh, you happen to score um, or, or complete all the, the spots on your current cards that you're working on, uh, you can just kind of score them all. It's like a bonus turn or, you know, so that that's a, kind of another incentive to push your luck. But man, is it risky because you there's just too much on the line. Anyways, this is just a fantastic game. I cannot suggest it enough. And I think the street price is like 20 ish dollars. I feel like the, the package that you're getting for that much money is really worth it. A, a great value. Definitely staying in the Beards collection. Definitely coming out in some game nights. And if you found this episode entertaining or informative, please consider clicking that subscribe button and click that notification bell and leave a comment down below on what you think I should cover next. Uh, Cause you know, I don't really know what to cover. And now I'm rambling. Thanks.